Good morning. Oh, crutching is an absolute ball ache, man. It's gonna make your life exponentially more difficult. Walk around on crutches. Hello and welcome to another video. And today is a big day. A very big day, like it's been ridiculously overdue. It's been a long time coming. Today, I'm gonna to be starting the drugs testing series. So, I've got Dr. Andrew Chappell, who's the head of the WNBF, the World Natural Bodybuilding Federation, also their drug control officer, like the head of drug testing stuff, I think, coming down. Also bring down his phlebotomist, who's the guy that actually takes the blood. We've got a, their approved polygrapher, that's like a lie detector, te a lie detector test guy. Yeah, they're, I think they're here now. We're in Mate, I'm gonna go meet them shortly. And just to run through what's gonna be happening, so we're doing the lie detector test first, I believe, then we have urine, and then blood, and then another blood. Now, the urine and the first blood are gonna be going to a WADA lab, so they're tested for like every single banned substance in existence like it doesn't get any more thorough than this. Then the additional blood is going to another lab. Now to explain, so basically speaking to Derek from All Plates Models last year about when we were you know, arranging this whole thing, he basically gave me a whole list of stuff we wanted testing for. Now most of those things were fine, but there were a few that he wanted testing for that labs in the UK don't really test for, it's not really a thing. So trying to sort that out has been an absolute ball. Like if we hadn't done those bits, or if I lived in America, I could have done this like six, seven, eight months ago, but trying to sort that out has taken a while. We've basically managed to find a lab who have a link with another lab in Spain where they do test for those things. So they're gonna take the blood, send it to the lab in Spain. They'll test those extra bits. It comes back, we have everything together and we have a full thorough breakdown of every single you know thing, every parameter, every metric in my body. Now basically my understanding of those bits that Derek wanted testing for, if someone was taking drugs and they stopped taking drugs or they did something to like mask it or whatever, it would mess up, it would show in other levels. There's other metrics, other like hormone levels that would fluctuate as a result. And these tests show those things. So basically there is no hiding place, right? Doing these tests I'm doing today, it is, it's, it's not possible. You, can, if you, you, know, you cannot pass these tests if you are taking anything because it will show up in one of those things. And just to hammer that home, like this is gonna be more thorough than like an Olympic 100 meter finalist would be tested, right? WADA normally do just urine. I'm doing urine, blood, and then another blood and the lie detector. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty intense, but like I'm excited. Like I'm pretty excited. It's been, like I said, a ridiculously long time coming. So yeah, I'm just excited to get started. I've been talking about the drugs here for so long. It's been, on a point as well, like I've been getting, not loads, but I've been getting some stick people saying, oh, you know, he's never gonna do it. Or you know, when is this happening? Like I'm doing it, mate, all right? I'm happy it's happening, it's happening right now. Um, it's taken a while, it would have been much easier just not to do it because it's been such a ball leg, but I said I'm gonna do it, so I'm doing it. Uh, the guys, I believe, I think we're close and I think they're here now, they're gonna be here soon, so we're gonna head over, meet up with them, and then, yeah, get drugs tested. How you doing? I'm Dr. Andrew Chappelle, and I'm here today with Matt, and we're going to be doing some drug testing. So Matt is a member of the WMBF United Kingdom. We are affiliated with the World Natural Bodybuilding Federation out in the United States, and we are the largest natural bodybuilding organization in the world. We do the most competitions, the most affiliates, and we've got the most stringent drug testing, and that's why Matt is here today. So what we're going to do with Matt today is we're going to do a polygraph test, which is essentially a lie detector test to ascertain his natural status. After that, what we're going to do is we're going to do some urinalysis. So we're going to take a urine sample from himself. We're going to send that off to our WADA lab. That's going to test for everything on the banned substance list. And then we're also going to take blood samples from him as well. We're going to test for growth hormone related factors along with other steroid metabolites. That will actually test for some long-term metabolites as well at the same time. And then we've got uh, another test we're gonna be doing as well where we're gonna look at some uh, health indices as well, which will show up if Matt has potentially been using anabolics as well. So almost like a, a biological passport. Welcome Matt, my name's Jason Hubble, I'm the owner of Lie Detectors UK. I'm here today to run a polygraph test on you, okay? A little bit about me, okay? I'm 49, I've owned this company for 10 years, been a polygraph examiner for that time. I'm qualified by the APA, the American Polygraph Association. I'm also a director of the UK Polygraph Association. The test we're gonna to run today, okay? We're gonna run what we call a Utah test. It's the same test that a UK police officer would run on you if you were a suspected terrorist. I will start by telling you, Matt, that I have you sitting on a movement sensor. The purpose of the movement sensor is there because there are things people 
used to be able to try to pass a polygraph test. Right. Okay, There's lots out there on the internet about how to pass a polygraph test. Very obvious when people do cheat. Right. We love it when people cheat. I'm gonna have you sitting here, your head and eyes forward. I'm gonna have your hand and arm there, Matt. On your arm is gonna be a blood pressure cuff. I'm looking at your blood pressure with this. I'm not looking at your heartbeat. Your yep. blood pressure is gonna be quite high today. It's gonna be going through through a baseline, okay? If you were to lie, or if I were to lie, your blood pressure does this. I see major changes in your blood pressure. Mm -hmm. You do not feel it, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have some disposable stickers on your fingers here, this finger and this finger. These measure sweat gland activity, okay? I'm looking at your parasympathetic nervous system. When I lie, my body will rev up and it will push out a lot more sweat. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at sweat, sweat gland changes. On that same hand, it's gonna be another sensor. This is a plasmograph, it's a camera and a light. It shines a special light into your finger, mm -hmm. into your index finger here, and the camera's taking a constant picture of the amount of blood that's in your hand. When I lie, my body will pull the blood out of the hands and feet back into the main organs. Does it to allow me to run away, okay? Very similar to the fight or flight reaction. The next sensor goes here on your upper chest. These measure upper body movement only. They're not on tight, they won't hurt you. When we finish, I'll ask you to remove it, put your hand underneath, like so, mm -hmm. okay. This test is about to begin, do not move. Do you understand I'll only ask you the questions we discussed? Yes. Regarding taking banned substances, do you intend to answer each question truthfully? Yes. Are you now sitting down? Yes. Have you ever knowingly taken a banned substance since becoming a bodybuilder? No. Are the lights on in this room? Yes. Have you ever knowingly taken a banned substance for enhancement? No. Are you now in Maidstone? Yes. Have you ever knowingly taken a banned substance? No. Okay, I'm just going to remove these from your mouth. Yes, do it, mate. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you. I'm taking that out of the way, your body. You're not touching anything. All right. Thank you, Matt. I've just finished Thanks your fine. polygraph test. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to score my charts. Let me pass these over to you. Thanks. I'm going to score your charts and get a report written. Yeah. Give me 10, 15 minutes and I'll come straight back to you. Okay, mate. How did you find that? In, it's Honestly, in, intense, yeah. mate. That is intense. It just makes you like, I don't know, you just question, like I said, you just question everything, you, everything you're saying. It makes you like, I don't know, it makes you think twice about the things you're saying. Basically. Then you start trying to analyse like your, your physiology, like, oh, is my... Heart rate is my Could you imagine how rate. a guilty person feels? Yeah. I mean, someone coming in here to lie, yeah, yeah. to even walk up the stairs and to go through that. Could you imagine what yeah. they would go through? And yeah. can you see how their body lights up like yeah. a Christmas tree? I'd, like, I'd be well were. intrigued to see that, to see like a, yeah, a yeah. murderer would do that. Yeah, it'd be interesting. <laughs> I would shake your hand, but you yeah. got that. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll come and see you shortly. Appreciate I need about. 15 minutes now to go over my charts. Ah, okay, Thank mate. you very much. polygraph charts I'm mm -hmm. pleased to say clear pass okay, okay really good pass I'd like to just take take a minute and go through the report with you mm -hmm. okay your results okay no deception indicated you passed your polygraph tested really well uh, I know it's I know it's tough it's tough for any, anyone we test yeah, yeah. thank you for going through that mm -hmm. you are lovely to test it's a single issue test so we grand total okay we grand total every question is about the same thing about taking yeah. a ban a banned substance we grand total it clear pass Okay, mm -hmm. the next the next paragraph here says, if anything else comes up, I might need to retest you. I don't need to retest you. I can clear you, okay? Have you ever is the whole of your life to today? What I can't clear you for is next week, the week after, yeah, the yeah, month yeah. after, okay? Yeah. I can clear you to today, the 28th of yeah. March. Okay, live sector is done. That was stressful. Um, we've now got blood and urine test, I'm necking like as much water as I can because like I did a urine test, uh, like an IPF competition like three years ago and the person literally has to like literally watch the wee come out of you, right? So you ever tried that, it's quite a weird experience but trying a wee when someone is staring at you is very hard so I'm trying to get as hydrated as possible. Um, but yeah, let's take some blood, I guess. Just to let you know, my name is Alistair. I'll be doing the event lecture on you today. Mm -hmm. uh, I am a medical student and I've been asked to do this on behalf of the WNBA. Mm -hmm. And what this will basically involve is, well, you've had a blood test before, but just to make sure, we're gonna be finding a good vein. We're gonna put a tourniquet on, which will be a wee bit uncomfortable, but I'll do my best. Then after that, we're going to puncture the brilliant veins you've got. Yeah. And then we will be filling 
all of these off and send them off to the lab okay. where we'll get them analysed. Yeah. Is that all okay? Yes, yeah. Have you got any well, questions well. before we begin? Uh, no. Good. Okay, so we've taken the blood. Ali's uh, went ahead and done that. So this is uh, this is Matt's blood. So that's going to go off the blood, uh, to the lab. Blood, by the way. Take, yeah, we, we took three, three lots of it. How did that feel? Uh, I mean, it's not the best, not the most <laughs> enjoyable experience. But, yeah. okay. So those, they're your ones, and yep. then those are the ones that are going to the other lab. We're right? going to send these to another lab. Yeah. So that's almost okay. like our. Um, we're going to do a bit of biological passport with that. We can do the same with this stuff actually yeah. as, as well at the same time. So these ones are going to the, the water lab and then the next thing to do is, uh, pardon the pun, is to take the best. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So okay. that's uh, that's next. So okay, we've been drinking ready. water the whole time. This is the paperwork. We'll fill this in yeah. when we uh, when we come back okay. and uh, we'll do all this. So I just need okay. to get a, a label. A label of juice. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do is can you do me a favour, take the plastic off of that tube, yeah. off that lid, open them both up. Right, the more urine the better. No problem. Because the lab wants around about 50 mil, if they yeah. can, right? <laughs> That's my urine, by the way. It's pretty yeah. hydrated. Right, so try not to waste any of it. More? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that'll right? be fine. Yeah. So, Come on top of it. All right. Okay, then put that one over to the side. Then last but not least. Okay, right now because you're on crutches, what we'll do is I'll peel this off here. Right now, what we want to do—that's an adhesive sticky, mm -hmm. and that is going to go. So the thing goes on the orange. Right? Yeah, that goes on there, like that. And covers in. Okay, and that should be it sealed. Andy, hold that. Okay. I'm good. Too hard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so doing that with one leg is significantly harder. Right, so this is the paperwork, right? The chain of custody. So what's going to happen with this? I'm going to keep one for my record, which says that we've drug tested you to here today. Okay, yeah. I've filled this in already. So you were the donor. Yeah. That's your last name. This is the sample number. That's the number that I wrote in the bottles. When the laboratory received this, what they'll do is. Um, They'll uh, they'll fill this in. He said it was all legit. Who yeah. was received by that it wasn't tampered with and uh, or adulterated in in any way at all. So we'll get a copy for our records. This version here, which is um, not got your name on it, that's for the lab. So it's random. Okay. So they don't need to know your name. They just okay. have the sample ID. This version here, this is for you. So I'm going to give you this to take away with. You. Okay. So you get a copy. I get a copy. The lab gets a copy. Mm -hmm. That's right. Uh, Where well, it's going in there. So there, the. the the urine's going in the back bit. Yeah. The details for the lab is going in the front bit. Okay. And that's you. You've been drug tested. We did it. Pretty sure. Nice and well. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> mm, my God. Oh. Okay. Done. Andy, enjoy that. That was interesting. Personal highlight, the urine thing. I was definitely up there. I've made Andy do some weird things this time. That's definitely going to be up there. For me, like, that urine sample experience was squashed in a little awkward cubicle. Like, I've only got one leg, so I can't balance properly. We're trying to rest the cups of my weed just on the toilet. Andy's filming, like, up there with the most uncomfortable 10 minutes of my entire life, to be honest. But it's done. It's good. The guys are now taking the samples. They're going to take them to, like, the post office or whatever, send them off. Like record a delivery 24 hours. It has to happen quick, obviously, because it's my blood, like urine, I guess it degrades over time or whatever. So that's gonna happen. They take the, so the uh, blood and urine, the initial blood and urine go to the WADA lab, and then the other lots of blood go to the, it's called the Men's Health Clinic. Thanks to those guys for getting involved, though, because it's been a massive ball. They've had, like I said, orchestrate a whole thing, a link with a lab in Spain. They're gonna go to them, then they, then they send it on to the lab in Spain and they do the extra testing, but I believe they're saying like four weeks for the results, so just like be patient, hold your horses, like it will come hopefully, yeah, in the next four weeks. 
then I can obviously make a full video breaking down the results, showing you everything. Like I said, there's nowhere to hide it. Literally, it is every single metric you could possibly test for. So yeah, it's all out on the table, you know. Um, the plan moving forwards, obviously that is test number one. Um, now, like I, I obviously knew that was happening. We arranged that because I wanted Andy to film it. I wanted to explain to you what was going on. The plan now is to jump into a whole series of random tests. So the polygraph, that's a one-off. That's done now. Like I've obviously passed it. I wasn't lying. So that's all good. The other bits, the two bloods and the urine, we're gonna be doing that every two weeks or every two week period and it's going to happen randomly right so on the day andrew will message me and say we're, we're we're coming you know we're on our way we're here um and i go and meet them and i give the samples and then yeah that gets tested we get the results back and not only do we have this first snapshot we have a whole long period of time probably around three months where i'm doing tests the whole time and you can see that you know i'm maintaining my my physique maintaining my strength hopefully getting stronger at the same time passing drugs tests it will show that not only am i natural now but i've always been natural that's a big thing for me as well now the slight spanner in the works is obviously i've friggin ruptured my achilles go and watch my last few videos like you know one of the worst sporting injuries you can get extremely bad timing i'm probably going to hold off on the testing for a little bit i don't know i want to basically see how my rehab starts like because what i need in this period of drug testing is i need lifts that i can show that i'm progressing on right because if i'm passing drugs tests but i'm getting weaker and my physique's deteriorating that obviously looks pretty suspect right so i need to make sure i can actually train properly as soon as i know i can train properly at least train upper body properly then i'll jump into the testing um and i can show you guys like i said i'm passing all those tests my physique looks sick it's either stay the same or it's getting better and i'm getting stronger in whatever lifts i can do that is the plan anyway i now i'm gonna go and try and find a gym like the last week since the rupture i'm just doing little bits obviously i can't do anything serious at all i'm just doing little bits to kind of maintain my sanity so i don't lose my mind and get depressed and stuff so i'm gonna try and find a gym uh do some upper body bits basically the point it main point i'll be honest is like I've done the drugs test just now, right? I want to show you my physique at this period in time so you can see when we get the results back, you can say, well, look, Matt passed. This is how he looked when he passed the drugs test. And again, it's just more evidence to show you guys that I'm natural. So that's the plan. Let's go and find a gym. I've just, how much, they took a lot of blood. So I might, I might pass out. Is that even safe? I don't know. I've got a rupture of the Achilles and I'm missing loads of blood, but should be fine. Um, see you there. Having crutches makes you appreciate how annoying it must be for people with an actual disability because the world is not set for people that can't use their legs slash arms. Uh, okay, session is done. It was, it was good. It, good in a way, like it felt nice in terms of, obviously I haven't got many machines in my gym and my current position, I, I can't stabilize myself at all. Machines are ideal because you can just sit down and you're pretty much good to go, you know? So that is absolutely ideal. Got a nice pump, but it was just a full upper body session basically. One issue I'm having now is like, I'm assuming it's where I'm crutching around and my right side is taking more of a hit because I can't use my left leg. I'm getting like, I feel like I've got a big neural impingement in this side, so I can't, my right arm is not functioning properly. Whereas previously that was my stronger side. Now, things like lateral raises and arm curls, my right side is fatiguing really early. I can literally feel like a, you know, it's not functioning properly, which is very annoying. I feel like it's just like God kicking me while I'm down, do you know what I mean? But. It's fine, I hope it should go away, get some massage or something. In terms of the Achilles situation, by the way, we are now, what, like a week? A week post the repair, the surgery. All went well, the surgeon was really happy. I'm going in tomorrow, actually, to have this taken off and then a boot put on. And at that point, the rehab can basically begin. So that's pretty exciting. Obviously a long road ahead, but like I'm prepared to be an absolute monster and just plow through it and do as much as I can to get back as quickly as I can within like you know sensible remits and stuff probably gonna vlog tomorrow so that'll be like a video maybe do like a you know recovery type series so that'll be you know the one of the first episodes of that so keep your eyes peeled for that but in terms of today we're done and are you happy with that i'm happy i'm happy but covered all bases i mean like in terms of drug stuff like i think it's just 
I'll be honest, the last few months where it was just such a ball ache to orchestrate, and then particularly when, like, when I did this, I was thinking, you know, I was very close to sacking it off. I just thought, what's the point? You know what I mean? Because people are going to be skeptical anyway, and it's such a hassle. It's going to cost me a lot of money as well. Can I really be asked to do it? I could just leave it, but A, I said I'm going to do it. And B, like, I don't know. I think it's cool. I think, like, basically, a lot of people. I mean, a lot of people don't care. A lot of you guys probably don't care at all. Fair enough. Like, I understand that I'm not really that fast, but there are some people that do care, you know, passionately care about me and not taking drugs or taking drugs. I just think it's a good thing too, because I think a lot of people didn't believe that I would do this thing. A lot of people, I've read comments, right? People saying, oh, we won't, when it comes to it, he won't do it or, you know, whatever, doubting that I was actually going to go through with it. And like, I've done it, you know? So I hope you appreciate the fact that I've done that because that was a ball ache to sort out. Obviously, it's just the beginning. We've got a lot more testing, all the random stuff to come as well, but yeah i hope you appreciate the the effort i put in to try and you know at least for the logical rational normal minded people out there you know regular members of society that clearly i'm not on drugs now and clearly i never have been that's basically my goal here right to show that so that is done um hope you enjoyed it if you did enjoy it give it a thumbs up like i said keep your eyes peeled for the achilles rehab stuff coming soon if you are new to the channel please subscribe and i will see you tomorrow